Hello everyone and peace of Christ all of you. Please invite your friends and let us have some good time together. Uh, you know, a Muslim, he posted a long, long article supposedly is to refute me. So I'm wondering, should I, should I, you know, get him busted in two seconds, three seconds, five seconds? How long I should let him live? What do you think? This article here, somebody claiming that a Muslim sent it to him, but this is what Muslim they do. They send, they post articles and they claim it is a Muslim who posted, not him. Some Muslim guy, his name is Satara, he sent me this. Fact the deception of Christian Prince Arabian Prophet unveiled uh, phase two. Uh, Gomo Zoboder. This is a Muslim kid. He's just a stupid idiot. He agreed that Allah is a shin. Anyway, uh, according to Torah, which was a revelation given to Musa as a child who disobey his parents, was to be put to death. This is clearly mentioned in the book of Exodus 21:15. Anyone who attack his father or uh, him uh, or his mother, he must put to death. Verse 17, anyone cause his father or his mother, <coughs> uh, curse his father or his mother, uh, he put to death. Uh, Quran clearly stated number of Surah chapter Al-Kahf 18, the reason why the boy was killed because he was going to be rebellious uh, to his parents. So anyway, all this article here, long article, if you read it, I mean, it's amazing. You can make a book, my friend. Why don't make a book about me? Look. I will give you a chance. Shall I destroy you in two seconds, one second, three seconds? Because all this article is, you want to say to me, and, and Christian Prince, he provide links in Arabic which nobody can read. Okay, Muslims, they cannot have access to it too. Uh, you see, in the old days, there was no translation for the Hadith, so I have to show them in English. But today we have them in, our, in English. So let us get you busted. So all this article is trying to claim that this person, he was killed in chapter 18, uh, uh, the boy, because he is going to be rebellious to his parents, right? Not because he was uh, going to leave the faith and he will be a kafir, right? Uh, really be careful. <clears throat> the reason that the boy was killed because he was going to be rebellious and he will show uh, uh, ignitude to his parents remember that Moses was given the Torah not the Quran the Quran merely relating to the story which happened to Moses time a respond to this Christian Prince said uh, three other no three five fifty three I don't know maybe it's a video uh, the boy was innocent he did not do anything but he was killed because in the future uh, his a crime uh, is a few is a future crime is a future crime and again stupid claim that the reason for the boy was killed because he was going to disbelieve not because his disobedience what again stupid claim that the boy was going was killed because he's going to disbelieve not because to be disobedience to his parents you see here the stupidity is amazing first we are arguing why the child will be killed before he commit his crime? And now you are saying to me, the child he will be killed because he disobedience, but in Islam there is no punishment for disobedient kid. And you are your stupid idiot, you mention that in the Old Testament it says that if somebody is disobedient to his parents, not a child, you are a certified donkey like your prophet. If you read here with me, you will see it says, this is your post, this is your post. If anyone attack his father, have you ever heard of a child can attack his father? If anyone he struck his parents, have you ever somebody, he is a child, he can struck his parents? So in order to do that, when I say parents, you know, uh, I have a parents and I am a growing man and still they are my parents. I am their child, but I'm not a child. So the stupid you, you think that this is a punishment for someone he is five years old, he struck his parents. No. Secondly, here the child or the child of those parents who can be a grown man can be 60 can be 70 he committed a crime against his parents and the crime is that he struck them or he cursed them or he insulted them or he hurt them now the question is why this boy he is going to be killed he did not do anything yet and look this is your stupid post i say not my post and the quran clearly stated the verse of Surat al Khadr, the reason why the boy killed was he was going to. So we were debating, you idiot, stupid donkey, about he's an innocent person and he did not do anything yet. So why he will be killed? Isn't it the Quran says a person should be punished for his sin? 
This person did not commit sin yet. He's going to. Based on this, we have to kill all the children who, because all of them in the future, they are going to disobey or disobey God or disobey their parents. Name for me one person don't do that. Just one. Here you see the stupidity of those people. Now, he's trying to prove that I am lying. It's not because he is going to be kafir, but because he was rebellious. Read carefully. And will show the attitude of his parents. Remember, Moses was given the Torah, not the Quran, and Merlin is in the story. And Moses respond to this Christian prince said in five uh, three and blah, 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 Okay, the the boys was innocent, but he did not do anything yet. But yet he was killed. He was killed because the future crime. He again is stupidly claim the reason boy was killed because he's going to disbelieve. Now in front of everybody, if I show you that you all of you those who wrote this article against me are a bunch of donkeys, what you would do? Because I have the hadith of your prophet on my side. So now I'm going to take the diaper of Muhammad. I will put it in your mouth and the mouth of those who wrote this long article. Let us go to the diaper. Hey, Muhammad, where is your diaper? Hmm, here we go. Do you see it, you stupid donkey? So this article, all of it to prove that the Christian prince is lying. The boy was not going to be a kafir. All this article, Christian Prince is lying. Christian Prince, he provide Arabic text nobody can read. Christian Prince, he provide links nobody can open. Christian Prince, read, read, read it. I mean, it's, it's a, here we go. In two seconds, I destroy you, you and the one who wrote this article. Now, everybody will laugh at you. This is your prophet saying about the story of the boy who was killed by Al Khadr. And don't tell me this is weak, you stupid idiot. This is Sahih, as you see. We know the game of stupid, uh, weak hadith, right? The boy who killed Al Khadr was created as an infidel. So all the article to say, oh, the Bible says that if somebody disobey his parents, he should uh, be killed. And this is what happened in the Quran. But the, your stupid idiot, even in your text, says he will, he will, he will. Even your stupid comment saying he will. So number one problem: how you wanna, how you punish somebody for a crime he did not commit? He will. He will, you donkey. Read carefully. Guys, read and laugh. It took me, it take me two seconds to, to, to get you busted. He again stupidly claimed that the reason the boy was killed because he was going to disbelieve and not because his disobedience to his parents. <laughs> so this guy, I didn't know how to say his name. You are saying he can refute me. Here we go. This is your prophet, this stupid Muhammad himself. The child, not only he will commit sin, he was a created. He will be this believer. He is this believer since he was a created. And here, that is a contradiction for all the cult of Islam, isn't it? You Muslim, you say everyone is born as a Muslim. Here we go. We found somebody is, is born not a Muslim. Read carefully, the Prophet of Allah said, this is who is talking, the Prophet of Allah. You see a translation, he does, did not put the word of the Prophet, but it says the Prophet. Here we go, we can put it here. I heard the Messenger of Allah saying, peace be upon him, explaining the verse. As the youth, his parents were people of faith. He was created as an infidel. So you stupid idiot, you want to get me busted. And you make an article, and you claim I'm lying. And here we go, you're a prophet with his poo, poo He got you busted, and he put a big poop in your mouth. How you can clean it now? So now look what happened. After you wrote all this article about, I am lying about this case. That's mean now all of you Muslims who oppose me about what I said are a bunch of liars because either because now you admitted that Muhammad is lying to correct correct people as long the one who says that the child he was killed for this reason because he is going to be an infidel if this is a lie that's mean Muhammad is a liar because Muhammad is the one saying so it doesn't take me two seconds to get you busted. All of you are a bunch of kids, stupid like your prophet. And here we need to ask ourselves a few questions. As long as Allah, he created him as infidel, why he have to be punished? Is that fair? It's you, you created him to be infidel. It's a decree from Allah. Actually, in Arabic it says, وَقَدْ طُبِعَ يُوْمَ طُبِعَ كَافِرًا He was printed as a kafir. Which means, Allah, he decreed inside him to be kafir when he created him. So why he will be killed? 
He was a created, he was a printed in his the print inside him. He was a printed to be a kafir. From the beginning, Allah created him to be a person of unbelief. So all this article is to prove me wrong about this point. You're a prophet, he gave you a boom in your diarrhea area. Are you suffering from diarrhea now? What you will say to people after all this article? All this article proving that Christian prince is lying and the boy he was not killed because he is going to be an infidel. All this article. All of it. Look, 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 look how long, look how long, look, 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 look. All of this got busted by one hadith from your prophet. What a bunch of kids. This is why none of them dare to call me and debate me. And you know, when we provide them difference, it says, we cannot open the link. What link you are giving us? And it's in Arabic. We cannot read Arabic. What a, what a stupid religion. They pray to Allah in Arabic, but none of them knows Arabic. And they knew Arabic. When, when you do not know Arabic, they claim they knew Arabic. Ah, uh, David, what? You didn't know Arabic. Uh, you didn't know Arabic. You didn't know Hebrew. I know this is coming. <laughs> But now, thanks to Muslims, they translated the hadith and we have it in the front of the screen. And just to show you how Muslims try to cover up the stupidity of Muhammad. Before I go live, I search for the story of Al Khadr and I found uh, some videos which is very funny. Like, look at this guy. This guy is trying to, uh, to cover up that this story is stolen from the mythology of the Persian. If any one of you know the story of Gilgamesh, there is a fountain, a youth, and etc. You will see the same story Muhammad he is copying. This guy he claimed that the name of Al Khadr in chapter 18 is nothing but a lie. There is nowhere Islam mentioned the name of Al Khadr. Read, listen carefully. Itself, from within the Quran, it could not have come from Prophet Muhammad because Prophet Muhammad understood this verse very, very well. All right, so we are talking about Al Khadr. Al Khudr is a name given by some people. Uh, the brief, quick introduction to this subject, because the time is limited, uh, I, I apologize for going through this very fast. This name was never mentioned in the Quran. It was mentioned in a tangential manner in one of the hadith, but this hadith is questionable for the reason I just gave you in here. Look at this. Questionable. This hadith is a questionable. He's not talking about the hadith I showed you. He's talking about this one. How it is a questionable? It says it's a good hadith. Even it is in Al-Bukhari as a Sahih hadith. It's in Al-Bukhari. So because those hadith exposing Muhammad Al-Khadr is a name of a person who used, called this way. Look, look with me. Look at the answer. Why Al-Khadr was called Al-Khadr? Because he's a person. When he sat on a land, uh, even if there's nothing in it, even if it's like desert, even if it's sand, even if it's uh, not, not like, I mean, a sand, nothing can grow in it. The second he set his ass on it, grass would grow under his ass. Why his ass will make ass, like a grass grow? Because Muhammad claimed that this person he drank from the fountain of youth. When he drank from the fountain of youth, uh, you know, uh, anything he said on it, this fountain of youth, will, it's, a, it's a fountain of youth, will make anything you touch it alive. So even if the ground, even if a drop of water touch the ground, the ground will give life. So this person, he drank from the fountain of youth, Ma'ul Hayat, and we can go and find you the hadith, so we can love together again. And this is how they can defend their prophet, by fabricating lies and making articles, but we got you busted always, with no mercy, potato, tomato. Let us see, uh, where is the fountain of youth? Let us see here, okay.
Give me a second, let me find it. <laughs> Christian Prince is lying. The person he was not killed because he is going to be Kafir? No, because he's going to be a rebellion. You stupid, even the answer is more ugly than the question because if he is going to be killed for being rebellion to his parents, then how about we kill all kids because they might be rebellion to their parents? And who is this man who knows the future? Same time, uh, uh, what kind of justice does justice is? You will be killed before you commit your crime. Shouldn't you commit your crime? In the top of that, as you see, the Prophet, he created this person, as I mean Allah, he created this person as a Kafir. So he created him as a Kafir, and now he want to punish him for being a Kafir. <laughs> <laughs> Let us see the story of the fountain of youth. Give me a second. Hold on. <laughs> and a long article. <laughs> in minute number, etc. Christian Prince, he said, in minute, it's a, all this article for what? All right, here we go. Let us see. <clears throat> um... Let us see, is that the one speaking about the fountain of youth? Uh, I think this one. All right, so this is where Muhammad is getting his story from. Or let us say, this is where he exposed himself more. So supposedly there's a fountain where this man, Al-Khadr, he lived not far away from it. And this fountain, uh, which is there, uh, anyone come in touch with it, he will uh, come back to life right away, even if he's dead. So when drop of water fell into this whale who is dead, he came back to life, and this is where Al Khudr, his name, is coming from. Let me see where we can find the word the fountain, spring of water. Maybe not this hadith. Hold on. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Actually, even here it says that the child, his, he was a kafir, and his parents were believers. <laughs> look, even we are not even looking for the hadith anymore, because we provide other one. So the child, he was a kafir, and his parents were believers. Huh? The reason that you see the boy, the boy, he saw the boy playing, and he killed him, okay, and he went in his hands, and he killed him, and he said he had killed an innocent soul, and okay, and then he says, didn't I tell you don't uh, you know like ask me and then if you ask anything I will etc and then he says to him they ask about the food and blah 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 and then says uh, yeah, I don't know what it says in English but in Arabic in Arabic I see it here you can search for it guys I will I will post the link for you here in, in, it should be at the end but I don't see it in English uh, and the child he was a kafir not because he would be disobedient you idiot donkey idiot like your prophet now let us go and find let us pause the hate for you here we go but let us find the hadith about the fountain of youth I know many ladies and gentlemen, they will go and try to get water from it so they can um, get younger. Don't you want to get younger? Here we go. We found it. Okay. And they, they, there's, they say that the rock was there. Uh, there was a rock and there was a water spring called Al Hayat. Al Hayat in Arabic means uh, the life. So there's a water spring, it's called Ainul Hayat, the spring of life. Read carefully what it says. And none come in touch with it, with its water, but become alive. 
And now we understand why Al Khudr was called Al Khudr. He was called the green because he used to drink from this water. So when he sit in the ground, anything he sit on is going to be green, even if it's a desert. Why? Because his ass is sweating water from the fountain of youth. So, you know, and here you, I find it very funny that the Muslims, they make tons of videos about articles, about science, and etc. and the Prophet said, and then we find, I mean, hilarious stuff. Fountain of youth, the pirate of the Caribbean, is exist in the books of Muhammad. But remember, even this story, Muhammad, he have no uh, connection to it, except he is a thief. Because this story is mentioned in legions of the Persian, legions of nations before even the, 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 the Kurdish people. So, Muhammad the thief stole the fountain of youth, stole the person of Gilgamesh, stole the person of Mr. Green, who found the fountain where a person can live. And you will see even the Muslim, they say that Al-Khadr, he was alive during the time of Noah. And he was in the funeral of Aaron. Aaron, you know, remember Muhammad, he says, when Aaron, he died, there was uh, 40,000 people attend the funeral. All of them, their name is, is Aaron. <laughs> I mean, Muhammad's stories is hilarious. We have to be honest here. <laughs> Let me see if I can find the hadith about. Uh, <laughs> that Al Khadr, he was alive in the time of Noah. Uh, <clears throat> Noah, Musa, Isa, even Muhammad. How he would die? I mean, the guy drinking from the fountain of youth. Are you kidding me? I'm trying to find the hate in English. Give me a second. Actually, I found some videos, but they are in Arabic. I wish it's in English, you would die laughing. Uh, oh boy. <clears throat> Just to show you an example of Islamic stupid stories. I just found an article, let us see this. Better than searching because I could not find anything in English. Nabiullah al Khudr alayhi salam, ismuhu wa laqabahu wa nasabahu. I will pause the link for you, you can uh, use Google Translation. Uh, the people differentiate about where he lived, what mean, okay, we don't know where we are, so no, no, we're nothing about him, okay, and then continue. And then they said, uh, and uh, some they say that his parents used to be two angels. And his mother, his name, Alha. <laughs> anyway, this guy is reporting for you, but now he will go and go, and go serious to tell you what Islam teach about it, not what people say. Uh, let us see. All right, here we go. Here we go to uh, uh, to the to Islam. Let us let us go here. <clears throat> let us translate this part. Al Hafiz ibn Asakir said, "His uh, his he was called Al Khudr, ibn, the son of Adam." Okay, and let me. Uh, Yeah. So he was called Al Khudr. Uh, sorry, from the son, of, uh, from from the children of Adam, and Abu Hatim al Sajdani said, 
uh, that he was, his name is Khudrun, the son of Abel, the son of Adam. <laughs> This guy is born, he's the grandson of Adam. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and they say that when uh, uh, Ibn Ishaqi said uh, that when uh, Adam uh, uh, death approached him, he told his son about the flood and uh, of his, and uh, translation is really horrible here. Uh, so I have translated to you by myself and from the Arabic version. So they uh, and then uh, Al Khadr, Mr. Green, he uh, he came, uh, uh, and he he is the one who did bury his father. Uh, and then it says here, uh, and the name of Al Khadr, he was Elia, uh, the son of Malkan bin Falg bin Aber bin Shalikh Arfa Hashad, the son of Sam, the son of Noah, the son <laughs> And then you know the story continued, it's just to show you how stupid this vision. And some they say, brother, that he is the son of Pharaoh. <laughs> He go to the book of Al Bidaya and Nihaya to it, like Ibn Kathir book. Uh, it says here. Uh, let's see. Let us see where they talk about his life, where he live. Where it talk about where he live. I mean, how long he live. But anyway, as you see, like he's the guy he was in the time of Noah, he was in the time of Moses, he was in the time of everybody. The guy he lived forever, I mean, the guy never died. You know, and all of this because he drank from the fountain of youth, which is must be true. I mean, we have to be honest here. It must be a true story. Huh? I mean, you, you try to hide the truth, Allah will expose you, brother. Uh, let us see. Still, I'm trying to find you something we can read in English. <clears throat> Let us see here. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Look, look what I just found. <laughs> Even this one is more hilarious. <laughs> Brothers and sisters, I have bad news for you. Prophet Al Khadr, finally, he died. He died before Prophet Muhammad came, so he was living for tens of thousands of years. Read carefully here. Uh, in my, there's a question to a sheikh, his name is Ibn Baz. Ibn Baz was like a one of the big shot in Saudi Arabia, but he died. Uh, in, my, in my village, there is a person, he claimed that he met Al Khadr, peace be upon him, in the city of Al Medina, and he gave him palm date. And, and he claimed that he did uh, heal some people from illness. Uh, all right. <laughs> Let us see. So anyway, uh, the the answer he's saying to him that Al Khadr he died long before Prophet Muhammad. So this guy is lying to you. But imagine this person. Uh, this person Al Khadr he was exist in every occasion. He was exist with Musa's, he was exist with Isa, he was exist with the, 
with Adam, he was exist with Noah. He attend the funeral of Noah. He attend the funeral of Musa's. I mean, this guy is everywhere. And the story is very simple. Muhammad is nothing but a fraud. This statement in front of us is enough to make you believe and to make you see the truth that this person is mentally ill. His name is Muhammad. He collects stories and he claimed that his God told him those stories. But all those stories are mentioned in the legions before him. They are nothing but legions. And even the Quran itself, the Arab keeps saying to him, those are nothing but the legions. We heard them before you, Muhammad. You are not bringing anything new. You see all those verses, the Arab keeps saying to him, this is nothing but the fairy tales of the people before. We heard those stories. You go, he gave us nothing. Stop copying fairy tale stories. We laugh at you. You are being stupid. All right. So anyway, the article the Muslims wrote that the boy did not die because or he was not killed for he, he was going to be an infidel. We got you busted in two seconds, as you see, even you, and your prophet always on my side. And I know you hate your prophet because he don't keep his mouth shut. I know that you wish your prophet he never opened his mouth. So all this article you wrote to prove me wrong, we got you busted in two seconds. The rest is just additional for fun, for entertainment, for people who are listening and learning about the stupid religion it's called Islam. So I say to the Abdul, who wrote this article, to expose a Christian prince about a Christian prince lying that this boy did not die because he's going to leave Islam. Brothers and sisters, Muslims are telling the truth. Muhammad was lying because the one who says the boy he was killed for he left Islam or because he is created as a person not a Muslim <laughs> is your prophet, you idiot. And people are laughing at you. Can you explain taqiyya in Islam? This is taqiyya in front of you. Here we go. Taqiyya is Muslim, they are allowed to lie in anything they want as long as they are defending their cult. Taqiyya means protection, an act of protection. So in order to protect Islam or to protect themselves from being exposed, from being, uh, 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 you know, uh, uh, like uh, uh, explained, so they are willing to do taqiyya. This is taqiyya. This is a form of taqiyya. All this article is a taqiyya. Are you, do you really believe that those Muslims who speak Arabic, they grow up in the Middle East and they are trying to refute Christian prince saying that he is lying, that this boy was killed because he was going to be a kafir. They do not know about the hadith that their prophet, he said. Do you really think? Do you think somebody spent 10 hours to go and collect verses from the Old Testament? He did not spend five minutes to go and search about what his prophet said about his story. He did not even go and read the, the interpretation. Because even if you go to the interpretation, you will see right away in the interpretation, including Ibn Kathir, it says clearly that this person was killed and Allah, he made him kafir. This is Ibn Kathir. So this person who made an article, long article to prove me wrong, he could not see it. He could not see that this person, the prophet said that when Allah created him, he created him as a kafir. When all the article is to prove that I am lying and this is not the reason. This is Ibn Kathir in English. This is Ibn Kathir in English. And this is the hadith is there. Do you think really that those people, they wrote an article, they did not see Ibn Kathir? The boy Al Khadr killed was destined, this destined. You see destiny, it's destiny. It was destiny for him to be a disbeliever. Do you see it? So all this article to prove that I am lying when I say this was a destiny and he is going to be a kafir. When right away you will see in the front of you that this is exactly the proof of what Christian Prince is saying. So when they wrote all this long article to supposedly get me busted, do you really believe they did not see, they did not search Ibn Kathir? But they are desperate, they don't know what to do. This is what happened when you follow a dummy. And here you need to ask yourself, if you are a person listening to this topic for the first time, what kind of God, he just deny me to be a, a, a bad person and then he want to punish me for being bad when it's a destiny. Correct? What kind of God he do that? He destined him. Actually, I'm going to make the title of my video with this title. 
because they will say it's a lie. It doesn't say that, CP. I mean, you see those cowards. It is them who says that. It is their prophet who says that. It is their Quran who says that, and then they accuse me to be a, to be a, a, a liar. And we show it in the screen, and then everybody read it, and yet you are lying. Liar, liar. And here, if anyone have little brain, what kind of God he will make a little boy, create him from the beginning, from the first day, created him to be a kafir, and then he will punish him for being a kafir. Is that a game? Is this God Allah? He is playing with the life of people. So this boy was playing in the street. He did nothing wrong yet. And now I'm going to kill him because I this tonight for him, he will be bad in the future, so kill him. What a disgusting, stupid cult. So all the article you wrote will destroy in three seconds. All the statement you made help us to open this topic again, and that will open the wound of your prophet. And now he is bleeding from his bum, from his nose, from his teeth. Teeth? Yeah, tease me. He, ble he, he, he bleed from everywhere. How you can fix your article? Your article now, proving that you are a bunch of liars, and your prophet is a liar like you, because all of you now, they are not fighting me, you are fighting each other. When a Muslim, he made an article saying that the boy was not killed for this is, uh, uh, for he was going to be in a, a kafir. You are trying to prove to us that Allah is a God of justice. He will not do that, right? Okay, that's wonderful. So because Allah is the God of justice, he will not kill the boy because he will be a kafir in the future. But now we prove to you that this is what your prophet said, and this is what he meant. So here he says that the reason the boy was killed because he was going to be a rebellious and will show, uh, you know, like uh, uh, attitude against his parents. See, this is this is the whole article. They want to prove that this boy was not going to be killed because he's going to leave Islam. But because he's going to be a bad person to his parents. And then when you quote a verse from the Bible, you eat it. The Bible says if somebody is doing this to his parents, and you are saying about children, nowhere in the Bible it says this is for children. Because it says it clearly, actually, from the verses you quoted as an example, you quote Exodus 21, 15. You idiot. If somebody, whoever strike his parents, not attack his parents. If somebody strike his parents, so a child, he cannot strike his parents. It have to be a person who can do strike and hurt an adult, his parents. So he have to be an adult person. So the word children here is a children because if you are 60 or 70 and 80 or even 200 years old and you, your parents are still alive, you are a child for them. You are old, yes, but you are a child of your parents. And then when you idiot, he quote for us from the book of Isaiah chapter 14, verse number 21, you idiot, we laugh at you. Talking to prepare for them to slaughter their children. Those are the enemies. The enemies, their children, not their children, the boys. Their children who they are their children. Which means the children, even your stupid Quran keeps saying the children of Israel. Does that mean they are little boys? But because you Muhammadan are very desperate, extremely desperate, like your prophet, you have no idea. When your God, your stupid God keeps saying the children of Israel, children of Israel, are they boys? So when your prophet was fighting the children of Israel, he was fighting little boys. Here we go, the children is there. My friend, I say to you, if you're a prophet, his name is Muhammad, you cannot claim to be a horse. And here, by the way, this is about the children. They are continuing to do the equity of their parents, which means they are adult now, because the Bible says clearly that a child will not pay for the sin of the parents. So, uh, no child actually will pay for the son of for the sin of his parents for a very simple reason, because this is not, you know, uh, justice. You pay only for your sin. So, a child he will pay for his the sin of his parents, if he commit the same sin, which means if he continue the sin of his parents. If he did not, he, you know, he will not. But anyway, we always learn from the Muhammadan uh, uh, that lying and deception is the best way to defend 
uh, and now I want to say thank you for remind us about the fairy tales of Muhammad which mentioned in the Quran which the Arab keep saying to him stop giving us your fairy tales you are not those are not from God those are legions of the previous nations so thank you for the Muslim who made the comment I really appreciate it Al-Khadr, he pulled down the head of the boy. I know not only he pulled, like they don't even know how he killed him. If you go to the tafsir, my friend, you will see here the following. You will see that he slew him by sitting on his throat, slitting his throat, read, read carefully. Al-Khadr, he, uh, he killed him, he slew him by slitting his throat with a knife while he lay down or by tearing his head off with his hand or by smashing his head against the wall. All of this because Allah, he this tonight for the boy to be a kafir. The, the boy did not do anything yet. He's just a boy playing with the kids. All this violent killing for something the boy did not even do yet. And for what? For what the Muslim claim, it's a destiny. So all the article here is to prove that I am lying. The boy is not going to be killed or not killed because he is a kafir but because he was rebellious to his parents. When the fact, the verse say clearly that he was innocent, even in his own quotation, the donkey who made this article. But he was innocent as he, he, guilt no, he, he did no guilt yet, but he is not innocent in the eyes of Allah because Allah, he is denied for him to be a kafir. And here you need to ask yourself, Maybe Allah decides then, based on this, all of us to be kafir. That's mean anyone who is a kafir, anyone who don't believe in Islam, kafir is somebody who don't believe in Allah. He hide the truth of Allah. Okay, based on this, all mankind who don't believe in Allah, it was a destiny for them. And based on this, the Muslim, they should go and kill all the children who they are not believing in Allah, or they will not believe in Allah, including our children. And this is what they do, actually. This is why Muhammad, he says, when they ask him about killing the children of the kuffar, he said, He didn't say, kill, don't kill the children. They said, when we are attacking them, we are killing their children. So what we would do? Is that okay? He said, sure, yeah, why not? They are from them. Why not? You see it? So I want to say thank you for the one who posed the article. You just get your prophet busted. And as you see, your boy was killed for because he was made as a kafir. And that exposed all the cult of Islam for there's no justice. People being killed, slaughtered for destiny, not for an act they did. And actually there's a book, it's called Khalqul A'mal by uh, Al-Bukhari. Khalqul A'mal means uh, that the Allah, crea Allah created your act. Can you believe it? This is a cult. Believe that every act we do, Allah, He created for us. So when you commit adultery, Allah created your act. When you kill, Allah created your act. When you Now I'm talking, Allah created my act. So why I'm going to be punished? Right? Uh, my friend, the one who keeps saying to me, can you tell me about Aqidah? Don't you see we have a topic? If we have a topic, that's mean we are talking about like, Did we stop? Did we finish? Don't you think it is really not fun and not nice that you jump in the middle of the classroom and you say, what what aqidah mean? And what does this have to do with our topic now? And that, what that will help you? That's mean your head in a place and our head in a different place. Are you a person suffering from the flight of thoughts? So all the explanation I'm doing right now for you mean nothing for you, your majesty. So I came online just to explain to you what Aqidah means. Go to Google, type Aqidah. They are going to tell you what it means. It's nothing. Aqidah is the belief. What a stupid question. This is Aqidah, what you see in the front of you. Anything they believe in. From shaving their pubic area to shaving in their arm to shave, to to believe in heaven to believe in destiny to believe in a prophet to believe in all the fiction stories, this is their religion. 
بس وتعقيدة Sometimes people are like kids, you know, like they grab you from your pant in the front of people, you're talking to somebody, and he grab you, buy me candy, buy me candy, I want candy, you know, I want to go, you know, you will grow up. Think before you jump. And then they ask you why you are being rude, you know, I mean rude, uh, look at this. We spend our time to explain something very important, and then they come to us and they disturb our topic. So as you see here, uh, and by the way, it's a destiny that this guy, he asked me about Aqeedah too. See, it's a destiny. Allah, he destiny to send me somebody in the chat because this is what Muslims believe. So everything we do is a destiny, stupid religion. And then Allah will punish me for being a Christian prince when it's destiny. Do you, can, can you believe it, how stupid this cult is? I mean, this is the most stupid, naive, funny, dummy, ugly, violent cult. So Allah is the one, he, okay, why this guy, he committed adultery? Allah, brother, Allah, he wrote for him, brother, in the book of destiny, brother, how much he will play with his private part, brother. Mm -hmm. So Allah will punish him when he is the one who forced him to do adultery? Yes, brother. What a genius. Very Allah has the fixed very portion of adultery which a man would indulge in, brother, and which he had of necessity must commit. Look, necessity of must commit? Yes, brother, it's a destiny, brother. So Allah will make a man sleep with the women, and then Allah will punish the man for sleeping with the women when he is the one who forced the man to sleep with the women? There's one of the videos we played before, if you remember, Mufti Mink, he said one of the Muslims asked the, the Caliphate, uh, I think it was Caliphate Omar, I forgot. Uh, he said to him, why are you going to punish me for killing this man when this is a destiny? The Caliphate didn't know how to answer this one. This is a good one. Okay, if this is a destiny, I killed this man. Allah, he made me kill him. So why am I giving to be killed for killing the man? So the Caliphate, he did not know to answer what he said, but he was his support is small. He said, okay, okay. Well, Allah is tonight for you to kill him, and Allah is tonight for me to kill you. Because he had no answer. Can you believe it of this answer? He could not answer him. Okay, if I am, if I am it was a destiny for me, to kill this man. Hey, Caliphate, why you want to kill me? How you can kill me for a destiny I did not choose? The Caliphate, he said to him, and suppose the Mufti Mink is like being smart here, quoting how smart the Caliphate. Let me see if I can find uh, uh, <clears throat> the video. Yeah. Why he was uh... <coughs> let me see if this is the video just to show you how dummy this cult is I mean it's really stupid which video I think this one maybe once again commercial and the, the Islamic commercial is a flood in YouTube asking people for donation because they want you to buy a brick in the heaven All of this, then why did he bring me onto the earth? Well, hang on, you don't know your results of your examination, so you have to come onto earth. The fact that Allah knows it and the fact that Allah has written it does not make you a person who should now give up because if that was the case, then obviously you would be the fool. Look, so okay, I mean, if Allah wrote for me the exam and He wrote for me the answer, and now I am the fool. <laughs> a man came at the time of Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu according to one of the uh, narrations uh, he had he needed to be punished because he stole so he comes to he Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu and he uses the same line he says oh Umar oh Amirul Mu'mineen how can you punish me for having stolen when it was predestined my deeds were already written by Allah Subhanahu wa ta'ala. 
Now that's quite a good argument if you would see this is a quite a good argument if you think about it. <laughs> Did you hear? That's a good a quiet argument if you think about it, but you cannot think about it. <laughs> Being stolen when it was predestined, my deeds were already written by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of this man. He uh -huh. says, well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him as well. <laughs> what a religion, what a justice, what a logic, what a madness, what a stupidity. I mean, so the guy, he is saying to him, if it was a destiny for me to steal, why you are punishing me for stealing? Well, Allah made me steal. The caliphate, he said, well, you have a good argument there, but it was a destiny to me to punish you too. <laughs> Genius. Punish me for having stolen when it was predestined. My deeds were already written by Allah. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now that's quite a good argument if you were to look at it. Umar ibn Khattab radiallahu anhu was one ahead of He's this ahead. man. He says, well, let's punish this man because it was predestined that we were going to punish him. Allah well. Akbar, brother. What a genius, brother. A brother, I love you, brother. I love you in the name of Allah, brother. So Allah, brother, he made the guy a thief. And then Allah will make him be punished for being a thief. And then the, 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 the caliphate, he is going to punish the guy because it's destiny for the caliphate to punish the thief. But at the end of the day, all of them, they are just a bunch of idiots. They are sex toys in the hand of Allah. This is a religion. This is God. This is the religion they are so proud about. This is the truth, my friend. The truth is ugly. Anyway, I want to say thank you guys for being here. I'm not supposed to be here for an hour, but almost we are here for an hour. And I want to say thank you again for the one who posed the long article, getting his prophet busted left and right. And when your prophet, he says the boy was killed because he was going, he's, he's, he's made as a kafir. He, Muhammad, he proved to us that there's nothing valid in this religion. Islam is just a joke. Islam is just a collection of ideas. And Muhammad, he put them together. Muhammad, he believed in destiny or he did not believe in destiny. It would not make any difference for us. Muhammad, obviously, either he is a mentally ill person or he is a satanic person. Because when you believe in the decree, in the way that you, uh, if you are bad or good, it's a decree. If you commit sin or not, it's a decree. If you fornicate or not, it's a decree. If you kill or not, it's a decree. If you are child molester or not, it's a decree. Then that means that real evil is Allah. For all the evil in this earth is coming from the decree of Allah. That is the truth. This is what decree means. The second you believe in decree in such a way, like, you know, for me, I can believe in fate as it's my fate. As an example, I cannot change it to be born of my father and my mother. I did not choose it. It's my fate. I will die, but nothing else. It's not God who made me bad or good. I do bad. I do good. And God, he told me what to do, what not to do. And I'm willing to listen or not willing to listen. This is why the Lord, the Messiah, he said, not everyone say to me, God, God will enter the kingdom of my father, but the one who do his will. So it's a condition to do his will or you do your own. And then you don't go to the kingdom of the father. In Islam is the opposite. It is not a choice. And remember, there's a hadith where Muhammad, he said that uh, a person who is doing his the deeds of uh, people of hellfire and then what is written by Allah all his life is doing the deed of hellfire and then what is written by Allah is going to take over and then he enter heaven and vice versa for the one who is doing the deed of heaven and then Allah deeds which written by Allah will take over and then he will enter hell so Islam is it's, a, it's just a game of gambling and actually gambling is even uh, cannot describe Islam because here you are not even part of the game it's Allah who wrote for you before he created you where you will go. It's not something you would do. It is not something you can change. It is not something if you believe or not. 
it is written already for you and the hadith in the front of you you can go and read it and you can enjoy the stupidity of the man who called himself prophet of god muhammad thank you very much for being here may the lord bless you and until we see you soon again and remember uh uh, you know, like I'm trying to, to do shorter and shorter videos so I don't stay long in, in, on the chair. Uh, so I might even do some videos and post them without going live. So it might be this way because each time I say I'm going to go there for 15 20 minutes, it ends at least an hour or something. So we will see how we can find a solution for this. Until we see you again, may the Lord bless you. Christ is Lord, Islam is a dummy paid, made by a dummy for the dummies. And I am not a dummy, are you? That is a question you ask yourself for. Take care. God bless you all.